So, Harvey Chandler. Thank you. 2008, I haven't said what I'm going to say yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start that again. <laughs> no, 2018 European champion. How does that feel? Still speechless, mate, to be honest. I think it's just Over a fantastic achievement. Yeah, thank you. Um, I wanted to start off our chat by, before we get into the nitty gritty of the preparation for the tournament and, and the, the nuts and bolts of the tournament itself, and the, and the run into that final clearance where you punch the table. Yeah. Uh, I want to start about uh, nine months ago, uh, where the, the idea was born yeah. to sponsor you. Tell us a little bit about that conversation. That you really, had with what a it close was, friend. I was just playing down the club, practicing with club players down the club. Mm -hmm. I've had many 147s and century breaks. People have seen me hit them down the club and. Colin Mitchell, who I used to practice with, he's seen me do lots of stuff on the table. And uh, he just gave me a phone call one day saying, I've had a think for a few weeks and I'd like to sponsor you and see how far you can go. Terrific. It went from there, really. And he's been so instrumental as in and supportive in, in backing you to remove that worry from your plate. Yeah, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be with this trophy yeah. now, it's as simple yeah. as that. So. And, and you met him and about 200 other people yeah. as well yesterday. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, Cried my eyes out walking into the club when I got a massive cheer. But It was about 200 people you said, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And how how's that worked over the last nine months with, with Colin? Is it is it very much hands off or do you speak uh, We're regularly? very close, very close. Yeah, we phone each other all the time when I'm at tournaments. He takes me to tournaments and he just sorts everything out and takes all the pressure off me, basically. Fantastic. So that's that's been uh, um, the catalyst, really, for yeah. all your improvement in the last nine months, hasn't exactly. it? Exactly. It's him. That's all. Colin Mitchell, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be where I am now yeah. and the results I've had this season as well. What would you like to say to Colin uh, in front of the... I would um, just like to say thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and I hope I can push on now and win bigger events and make a career out of it and make everyone proud, so yeah. thank so do, you Colin. <laughs> yeah, so do we all, so yeah. do we all as, as part of your team. Uh, yeah. So that was nine months ago, talk us through your your journey from being a club player nine months ago, all that be it, probably the best yeah. one in the country, <laughs> <laughs> knocking in my four sevens for yeah. fun, from being a club player to being European champion in nine months. What what has been your improvement curve? What's what games of parts of your game have become stronger? Part of your, what parts of your preparation have become stronger to allow you to win this event? I don't know. I've just been entering so many tournaments all around the country. I'm Brighton and places like that. I'm in different places of the country every single week, and I think that's what's helped me really. Just having really good match practice and being sharp all the time. So it's more the match practice than the variety of conditions yeah, you're yeah, playing in? Yeah. More I than... think you should just play as many matches as you can really and mm. get used to playing in competitions. So. so what's the range of competitions that you enter? Is it, do you, do you seek the highest standard or are you entering club handicaps as well? Or? I'm entering club handicaps, pro-ams, I've entered in Germany, I went in the pool and the classic, got mm -hmm. to the last 16, mm -hmm. beating professional Lee Yuan. Um, yeah, I've just been going in everything as I can, really, as much as I can. And is that your, has that been your strategy with Colin Mitchell, or, or have, you, have you just said, enter everything? Yeah, that's our strategy, just to get as much experience as I can. Brilliant. Brilliant. Many people said to me, why didn't you go in Q school a year ago? And it was a simple fact, I wasn't ready. If I was to get on... I've got no match practice, I'm not ready to compete on the tour. Because I remember we had that discussion, didn't we, about yeah. Hugh School and yeah. not quite being ready. Very mature decision, because I, I know I know players who haven't had 100 breaks who are going in Q School. I know, they're going in it just to say they've gone in Absolutely. Q School. Absolutely, yeah, correct. That's what they're yeah. going in it for. Which is fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but Good luck to them if sure. they want to do that. But. Yeah. So that, I thought that at the time that was a very mature decision, and uh, in terms of getting traction with your experience and the experience really counting. When, when do you feel that your experience started really assisting you in matches in the latter stage of tournaments? What really helped me was when I was in Germany and I had a good run out there. Okay. I had three amateur rounds, I got through them, then I had to play a 
a pro out there in front of loads of loads of German fans and that, and I was never used to that kind of German setup. fans, you've got to be careful of them. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many people then, like, I've, I've come from playing in a club, and to go out there and get my name introduced and everything, it was just surreal, and, and I, I, I think I performed anyway, and I managed to win the match, and I kicked on from there, really. And that, did that experience help you in the latter stages of the European, yeah. where you're... Yeah, especially when it came down to the one-table setup as well. And there was quite a few people there yeah. watching the last few frames anyway. Uh, six weeks ago or so, you had a weekend where you got to the final of two consecutive tournaments. And I remember you told me that I think you had one hour sleep Yeah, that's between it. on the Saturday night. Yeah. So where was the first event? That you reached the I think final. It was Dunst. Yeah, I think it was here. Oh yeah, it was yeah, here. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, I Dun won the tournament here, and then I went down to Gloucester and got to the final there and, and won that. Yeah. So you got you got back, had an about hour, an hour's sleep. Yeah, I got back about two thirty, then mm -hmm. had an hour's sleep, got back in the car for six o'clock, <laughs> went for McDonald's breakfast, and then away you go again. So it's been like it every week though. For has it? Really? Yeah. I'm away every Saturday and Sunday, going as much as I can, but. So that's a leaf out of the Usain Bolt book. Yeah. Chicken nuggets before the 100 yeah, metres exactly. final. <laughs> <laughs> so you won that in Gloucester. And the point I was, I was moving toward is that build up or practice of building up stamina where you can reach a final, have an hour of sleep, reach another final and win, convert yeah. to a win, ignoring the disappointment of losing the final the night before at whatever time it was. Yeah. Similarly, on a, on a bigger scale, that's like recovering from a disappointment of losing a black ball game before the balls are set up, isn't yeah. it? Uh, so did, did that type, pushing yourself through that grinder, also help you at the Europeans as yeah. well? Yeah. Mentally, at the Europeans, I was focused completely on winning the tournament. I didn't go out, didn't drink, didn't do anything. I just, just, just keep myself to myself and tried my best really and just wanted to win as much as I could. Again, very mature attitude because a lot of players at any tournament, at any time, are enjoying it. They're there almost for the holiday snookers of a bonus. Yeah. Uh, they're enjoying the evenings, whatever. Uh, we won't say how, but they are. Yeah. And, and But that's not going to support you to get the best results, is it? No, exactly. And, and yeah. you avoided all of that. Yeah, I had they? loads of chances to go out and enjoy myself, but <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I just yeah. stayed in. Yeah, fantastic. Um, did you get slated for it? Oh, why are you so boring? Come out, have yeah, fun. Yeah, a few of them did, but they're not. I've got the choice <laughs> now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, them. yeah, exactly. Right, fantastic. Yeah. So, the preparation for Sophia. That let's say the last couple of weeks. Was there anything specific you did that helped in the run up, or was it more of the same and just? I believe working with yourself helped help me in my safety. That helped a lot. Because as you know, my safety game is not, not at its best at the minute. Because I've, was... I've never had to play safe. I've always been down the club just knocking balls in everywhere. I've never had a safety yeah. game. So. I mean, that is your strongest part, is your scoring. And yeah. Presence around the table and flow and rhythm. Yeah. Uh, the so, so tell us about, I mean, we used, uh, the we had a Q Action Trainer session on, on your safety yeah. game. and that. So how did, how did that help you? In just helped me sight in the ball when I was queuing across the ball and all sorts, wasn't I? Yeah. And I've just learned how to hit the ball, plain ball and clip off threads and stuff as simple as that. I couldn't right. do it, could I? Yeah. Without was... playing with side. <laughs> so. Yeah, and and I think uh, we had we had only one session, uh, but with four or five more sessions, we'll, we'll be able to yeah. solidify that skill yeah. even even further uh, because I think. Um, Having having done a little bit of work with uh, the queuing, getting the hip out of the way, yeah. and did a little bit of work getting freeing up the queuing, and and um, with safety, there are a few more blocks that we can do in the next year, and yeah. uh, looking forward to uh, tackling those one by yeah. one. Can't um, wait. Yeah. Hi, this is Nick Barrow, and welcome to the world exclusive premiere of my Q Action Trainer. If I dilute the Q straight, and the idea is with the Q Action is just to make sure the Q is moving straight, then when you feel it's moving straight, then pull the trigger. <laughs> 